afternoon. Good afternoon. Sorry, I was I was trying to adjust the setting the other time. So I don't know if you're alive, say hello, say hi. <laughs> if you're alive, say hello and hi to me. Okay, I'm waiting for more people to join. <laughs> so if you're alive, say hello, say hi. Say hi. If you can hear me, let me know if you can hear me. So I want to talk about a very, very important subject matter that we have all been hearing that phrase, you are enough, I am enough, and all that. Hello, John F. Photography. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me wave to you. So, I don't know if you have been hearing the word, I am enough, you are enough, and all those kind of phrases. Yeah, I know it's about motivating ourselves, like telling ourselves that, yes, you don't have to be any other person. But if you sit down critically and analyze that phrase, I am enough, you are enough, it's for a Christian, it depicts pride. It depicts, you know, a lack of dependence on God. That's the way I see it. Even though, yes, you want to have confidence as a person you want to you know feel like you don't have to be other people which is true you don't have to be other people you have to be yourself the unique person that god has created you but that word i am enough you are enough depicts self-sufficiency it depicts a kind of pride that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve you can be self-made as a Christian, welcome everyone for joining me. I'm so happy to have you. As a Christian, you cannot, you cannot use that phrase, I am enough. Why? Because without God, you are nothing. You are not enough. So instead of saying, I am enough, or you are enough, you can say, God is enough in me, or I am enough in God. All right? Because... There is a thin line between self-confidence and pride. There's a thin line between, you know, motivating yourself and going overboard. You know, I was, uh, when I had my quiet time this morning, I, it, it was something that I gained from the discussion of the preacher. In First Peter chapter 5, verse 6, it says, Humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. You know, that phrase, I am enough, you are enough, is, you know, is not depicting someone that has absolute trust in God. That's the way I see it. Because if you have absolute trust in God, you know, I just made a real, a real post that if you can trust God to, if you can trust God to, that you can remove what you never felt you can remove in your life. Why can't you trust him to give you what you felt he can never give you? Now, that first Peter 5 4 says, Trust God, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. See, we are in a generation where people have a feeling of self sufficiency, self made, self care, self love, self this, self that. But we as a Christian, we have to show that vulnerability to God. We have to show that dependence on God. You know, 100% dependence that without God, I can do nothing. Without God, I can't achieve anything. Without God, I am not enough. You know. Otherwise, when we begin to use the phrase of the people of the world, I am enough, you are enough, you, we will know when there will be some derailment from trusting God to, you know, feeling a sense of self-sufficiency. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I appreciate it. I don't know if you understand my point, but what I'm trying to say is, as a Christian, please let us know that our sufficiency is of God. We are enough through Christ. We are enough by the help of God, not by our own self. We are not self-sufficient. We are not self-made. But we are made who we are through Christ that strengthens us. Please, no matter your level of achievement, 
no matter how far you have gone, achieve a lot. You have a lot of people look up to you. You are impacting life. You are doing, you are doing mighty, wonderful things that is bringing you profit, and you are feeling yourself. Please still have that humility, that dependence on God, that He is your sufficiency. Still acknowledge God in all your ways, because <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just a single breath. You don't know who I am. Oh, I am this, I am that. Just a single breath. And you are gone. You know, let us learn to humble ourselves before God. Let us learn to humble ourselves. There's nothing you achieve in this world. There's nothing you gain in this world. There's nothing you hold in this world. Without this breath that you have in you, I'm telling you, you cannot even stand. Look at people when they, when they, when they are kept in mortuary. They are dead. Bring gold, bring uh, diamond, bring everything. Spray dollars on them, euro, pound sterling on them. It's just this breath, you know. And that is why we cannot afford to be proud. We cannot afford to feel like, yes, I am the one. Without me, you can't be this. Without me, this person. I am the one that uh, 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 saw this person through university. If not for me, if who are you? Who are you? You are not enough. You are only enough because you have the breath. Because God is still, you know, still keeping down your breath. So please, let us have that sense of humility. Let's humble ourselves and know that we are only enough in God. Through God, through the strength and the help of God. We are only enough because the breath. God allowed the breath to be there. Let's humble ourselves. Let's know that without God, we can be nothing. Alright? So that's the message I have to share. I don't know if you get one or two things. But that's what I have to share on matters of the heart. Alright? <laughs> so thank you. Like, share. Tag your friends. Because this phrase is becoming a canker worm. Eating a lot of young people. I am enough. You are not enough. You are only enough in God. Bye-bye.